Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I give you some tips and tricks on actions and show you how to expose detail in your photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Remini. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful, the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the raw files and the action of this episode for free. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter, get tons of newsletters, and get access to all kinds of free goodies. And click here if you want to subscribe on my YouTube channel. In last episode, I showed you some tips and tricks on compositing. Finding the right composition for a photo is, is a quest I am on, and I think it's one of the hardest things to learn. This week, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on making actions, because actions can be easy and sometimes a bit buggy. And also, I'm going to show you a trick to explode details in your photo. So let's get started. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Two things before we get started. Uh, a lot of people write me because they are interested by the complete pack. What the complete pack is, is all the course I ever done in the last four years. If you click here, it's $340 but it's, it's basically like 80% of discount. It's really all the course I have ever done. It's a lot, a lot of courses. You've got the list here. It's not courses done by other author, but there's courses done by me. Now to be able to get the discount, you have to use the coupon code complete and add another code photo 40. Now, if you click on direct download, you will see that by default, you, uh, the price is 1,633. If you apply the code photo 40, you have already a discount, but to get it at 340, you have to add the word complete and you click on update cart and then you get it for 340 and you can just pay with it. So that's one question a lot of people has been asking. I wanted to answer it live. The other thing is if you want to get the raw file of this week's episode and all the past episodes, you go to click on news and sign up and you got to sign up to my newsletter. Now, if you already did sign up to my newsletter, uh, it will give you a special confidential link with all the goodies. So hundreds of raw files, uh, presets and uh, free actions. So all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter. Okay. So to today's course, uh, today I would like to teach you two things for the price of one and all of this for free. I want to talk to you about, uh, actions and I want to talk to you about, uh, making details in the photo. Uh, at the beginning of my podcast, I already did an episode on this, which was called Exposing Details in a Photo. So if you already watched that episode, it's uh, you already know the trick. This is a trick I got from a, a German retoucher called Calvin Hollywood. He, he called this the freaking amazing technique. And it's really, 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 no, sorry, freaking amazing details. And it's really cool. So I want to teach you that technique and also want to teach you how to do actions in Photoshop when you have things like this, because there's a couple of things you should know about doing actions in Photoshop. So first, as usual, because I always like to show you a full retouch, I'm going to retouch this raw file taken uh, on the Alexander three bridge. I love that photo because you got, you know, lights of Paris plus the Eiffel towel, which is that up and you got a nice guy. Now uh, I'm not going to do much on it. I'm going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. Ooh, and I'm going to do my white point, holding down the alt key, moving to the right until I see some light. And I'm going to do my black point. Okay. I'm going to minus a little bit of clarity because at first I'm going to go for a natural result. And then I'm going to go to the uh, lens correction, click on enable profile, uh, remove chromatic aberration. And uh, I'm going to click on upright auto. Now upright auto is not going to do a good job. So I have to go to manual. For some reason, it's not, I don't want the Eiffel towel to be crooked. So I'm going to click on rotate and make sure the Eiffel towel is straight, including the lights of Paris and then click on constraints crop. Okay. This is the view of the Eiffel towel from the Alexander three bridge in Paris. Now this is this, the, the sidewalk here is very distracting. So I'm going to cut here. Okay. Um, maybe not that much. I just don't want to see so much of the sidewalk. Something like this is cool. And the bottom part is not so interesting. So I'm going to make a gradient filter and make this a bit, uh, a bit lower in exposure. I don't want to see so much of that and maybe do a little, a uh, same thing here, a lower exposure here on the sky, but maybe not so low, just a little bit. So we have a bit of a gradient in the sky. We had a, I was, it was a beautiful blue sky. 
Uh, let's see uh, the white balance. I can try daylight, see how that goes. Yeah, daylight was probably what I used. Cloudy is gonna make it warmer. Shade is gonna make it even warmer. No, I think I'm gonna go back to daylight. I like the whole blue feeling and I just might add a little bit of magenta or not actually on this one. Yeah, maybe just, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it at daylight. I just love what daylight is. So that's my basic retouching. So, but this is not the tutorial. The tutorial is coming now. I'm gonna right click, edit and edit in Adobe Photoshop CC 14. All right, so I'm in Photoshop with the photo which is open and um, I wanna show you the uh, this technique, the freaking amazing detail technique. So for this, we have to open the action uh, folder and um, if, you, if you don't have the action folder, you can go to Windows and just make sure action folder is open, okay? Uh, now, the action pal uh, window, I'm sorry, it's not a folder, it's a window, you have different folders. I have one that is called Surge where I did different uh, actions. And so I'm gonna ch choose Surge, which is where I have all my actions. And I'm actually gonna give you this action for free. I'm gonna show you how I build it. And also, because I used to do a lot of actions and I used to have a lot of problems because I had uh, basically error message in my, uh, in my actions. And I wanna show you how it works. Uh, you know, some of the things you do in Photoshop are very sort of uh, mathematical and not very understanding by a human being, especially this technique. And that's why it's good to have it as an action because it's very hard to remember. So uh, let's go and let's do this technique while making an action. So I'm gonna click here, click on new, and I'm going to, I'm going to call this uh, amazing details, all right? Okay, it is in the set search, so which is like the folder of my actions. I'm gonna click on uh, record. Okay, so now everything that I do is gonna get recorded. Okay, so the first thing of that action is to create two duplicates of your background, right? Then, the top background, what you do is you invert it by pressing Command-I. Then you put it into vivid light, okay? Then, uh, you take both of this and you group it into a group, uh, group from layer, you make this into a group. Let's call this details. And this group, you give it the uh, mode of overlay. As a result, you basically, uh, nothing's happening so far, but on the first photo, you right click, you convert it to a smart object, then you go to filter, blur, surface blur, and here comes the magic. Now check this out. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but on the surface blur, and that's why I put this as a smart object because you can change it afterwards. What what you do, I'm gonna lower this, but when you when you have like, a, a, I advise you to be like on the 20 and the thresholds and you play around with the radius, it's gonna explode the details in your photo. Uh, check it out. I don't know if you can tell before, after, before, after, before, after. It's really interesting. Now I don't like so much look and I don't like to apply this everywhere. Some people are crazy about this look. So I'm gonna click on okay. And so, if you see the steps that we have done, it's pretty complex. It's hard to remember. I, I, I remember that I had to watch Kelvin's video over and over to remember this formula that I just gave you. So that's why it's very good to do an action, okay? So uh, we're not finished with the action. The last thing I would do is I would create a mask on the group uh, using the Alt key so that the mask is completely off. So the, uh, you know, the, everything we've done so far in that group is completely invisible. And then we can just paint back with a white brush where we want the details to appear because I don't advise you to use this on all your photo, but just on parts of your photo. So at this point, I'm finished. I'm happy with my action. And uh, I'm gonna go down to, I'm gonna click on stop. And the action is created called amazing details, right? Now let's see, uh, I'm gonna close that. Now let's say that I open up another photo Actually, let me give you an example of this one. I open up another photo, this photo, for example, and I try to apply the same action, amazing details. I click on play. Here, error message. The object layer background copy is not currently available. Continue. So I'm going to try to continue, continue, and it's just going to not do the right thing. It's just not going to work really well. The result is really weird. So what I'm going to do is just take what was created here and uh, just erase it so that we are back to normal. Okay, why did this happen? And this happened, this used to happen to me all the time. 
because I was creating action and they were not working on all my photos. The reason this is happening is because what Photoshop recorded is that the first, uh, the first layer is called background. Okay. So if you start off something where your layer is not called background, you're going to get weird results. So the way to get around that is when you make an action. So let's, I'm going to erase this action. I'm going to take it, drag and drop it to the bin here. Okay. All right. So to make sure you don't have any error message in your action, here is a little twist to make it happen. So I'm going to go to action. I'm going to go to my podcast, amazing detail action. I'm going to create a new action, which is going to be called freaking amazing details. And this action I'm going to give you. So you just have to double click on it to install it. The file I'm going to give you as part of the free stuff you can download. Okay. I'm going to click on record. And at this point, I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to call this one details. And that's the trick by naming it after duplication, I won't get the error message. It's kind of stupid, but if you do a lot of actions, you might, you might have run into this. And then I'm going to command J to duplicate again, make sure that this is go command I to uh, invert, then go to vivid light, then go to smart object. You see, it's a bit long, select both group them into a group, group layers into a group that I'm going to call details. All right. And, and voila. So that's the, Oh no, I'm not finished. I'm going to open this, uh, the group I have to put into overlay and this, I have to go to blur filter, blur surface blur. Okay. Click on. Okay. And at this point it's going to do this It's going to explode the details. Okay. I'm going to stop the action here. Let's stop the action. And now if I, if my basic photo is named something else, it should work. So let's see, I'm going to double click on it. This is going to be called layer zero. So it's not background anymore. And let's see if our freaking amazing detail action is working. I press play and it should be working because now, uh, it should be working. That's cool. So you see how it, it explodes the detail. Now, if you don't want to have it everywhere, you can, um, well, you can basically hide the whole group here with alt and just paint back where you want this to happen. Make sure you're on white. I'm going to boost the opacity big time so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to explode the details here, maybe a little bit in the sky, but you know, a bit less. So maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. I don't know if you can see the difference before, after, especially at the bottom of the photo, you will be able to see. Let me show you on another photo. Okay. So that's another photo. And there is two layers. There's one background, which is called arrière plan in French. And there is one nuage, which is cloud. Okay. The problem is that the action is not going to work there because you see the top layer is basically the clouds with a mask. And what it's, if I press play here, what is, what's going to happen is that it's going to copy uh, the clouds detail. So I don't have an error message, but it's just not working because it's the clouds that got very much detailed, you know, just the cloud. I want the whole photo to get that. So in case you have something like this, like your top layer is not the full complete photo with everything that you want to explode. It's only going to explode the detail on whatever is that layer on. So press command alt shift E an amazing shortcut command alt shift E very hard to remember command alt shift E. What that does is it creates one layer uh, that includes everything that has been, been done so far. And now if I press play on the freaking amazing details, it's going to give me the freaking amazing details. Now, if you noticed when I first recorded the action, I added the fact, you know, that my last step was to add a mask, uh, a black mask so that you know, I could just paint back where I wanted the freaking amazing details to appear. Now I have noticed that when I do that as my last action, sometimes the mask uh, does not get recorded well and it get, it can give some error. That's why I didn't add it. But this action, if you apply this little formula of making sure you, you apply it on a layer where you want the details to appear and just on a layer, I mean, you could, you could just want the details on the sky. If that's what you wanted, then that's fine. But that's not what I wanted on this photo. I wanted the details here. Now check the difference. It's amazing. Before, after, before, after. Let me zoom in. You will see before, after, before, after. Pretty crazy stuff. Okay. So what I would do at this point is I would take my group. I would down, hold on the alt key, create a black mask, take the effect out, press a brush, take a brush, 
and just brush back the details just on the buildings because I like to have the silky water and I just want the details on the buildings but you'll see the difference when it's finished okay before after I've got all the especially under the bridge it's really an amazing action that you can use on on your photo but use it with parsimony and bon escient as we say in French which means uh, but with moderation, you know, don't abuse this because it's a look that I see very much on, on a lot of photos. It can be, it can impress some young kids, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, just, it can give really, uh, I don't think it's good to use it on an entire photo. That's just my viewpoint. Okay. Uh, back to me. I just want to show you in case you've missed it. Um, uh, my loan exposure photography course that I did a few months back. Here is a little a trailer of that course in case you're interested by this type of photography. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another episode. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, as you can see. And today I'm here to talk to you about one of my most exciting courses, the Photography Loan Exposure course. Loan exposure is an amazing technique where you can get silky water, stretchy skies, you can get surreal photography, you can see some of the final results you're going to learn. In all, there is eight different projects, most of them being shot in Paris, and I will show you live how I shot the photos, you know, what time of the day, how I put the filters on, the settings of the camera. I tell you everything. I give you all the raw files. It's one of my coolest course I ever done. I'm really proud of it. And I hope you're going to check it out. The Lone Exposure Photographic Course by me. Mesdames et Messieurs, au revoir.